Let's get ready to rumble, sports fans. You're listening to the number one MMA podcast hosted by comedians that only do bicep curls. Uh, I've taken one adult karate class, and now I've convinced myself that I am a mixed martial artist expert. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the source for UFC news is my comedy podcast where I occasionally say the N word. <laughs> problem? <laughs> yeah, well, if you got a problem, take it up with the logo of the show, which is like a, is Calvin pissing on himself. <laughs> It's is Calvin pissing on his he's, own career. He's pissing up in the air, and then it's coming back down into his own mouth. Yeah, and it's like a Joe Rogan, like, blow your mind meme. Yeah, like, it's, think about it, it. My badass, edgy New York comedian podcast where the logo is Calvin pissing gasoline onto a bridge. <laughs> yeah. Expand your mind. Yeah. <laughs> what, is, what age is it where you become a UFC expert? Uh, I believe it's when you turn 30, exactly. Is that, is that like a NW5 male pattern baldness hair pattern? You have to be at that level? <laughs> yeah. And you're like, well, my testosterone's peaking because my fucking leptin sensitivity is all fucked up and I mean, my body kind of, shit because like it's I'm, a, not a, I'm a fighter now i could have been <laughs> i didn't do i didn't do any of the karate when i was right. younger because with like, so now i'm an older guy I imagine myself as like a sort of a trainer type to these young men who want nothing to do with me with with like basketball and shit it's like people that used to play the actual sport but right. with like ufc has been around for like 10 years or some shit right so it's just joe rogan yeah for no reason well like, joe rogan did karate yeah yeah Karate's bullshit. Is right? it? Yeah. Right? Karate. Karate is just a general term for fighting. Is is that? Is it's that so? Nick's general term it's for my fighting. General term for fighting. <laughs> so any you, fight is. You karate. get to fight with somebody at a bar. You're like, hey man, let's not. You don't want me to do karate at you right mm -hmm. now. That's how you. you yeah, you kind of. Around. Here's here's a good one to stump pretty much any any uh, mixed mar martial artist. In. <laughs> Ask him. Karate, is that Chinese or Japanese? And they can't tell you. <laughs> well, it's all white guys. Yeah, they don't know. No one knows what karate it's is. It's all white guys wearing white geese mm -hmm. and shit and yeah. standing like very like centered and shit. Actually, Kung Fu, now that's Chinese. Yeah. Kung Fu is Chinese. Karate actually was Italian. It came over with Marco Polo. They gave him spaghetti and he gave them karate. Karate. Mm -hmm. Karate. Yeah. 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 I, I thought I'd buy it. So, Where did that game Marco Polo, who came up with that? Uh, the guy, Marco Polo, he was a... Uh, That's how he's... You're going to have to do better than that for that bit, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to have to come up with a better, funnier answer than Marco Polo is who came up with Marco Polo. It's not funny. It's just the facts, ma'am. And that's what this show is all about today. Yeah, I was about to jump on that bit, and it's going nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Jump on him. we got time to kill. Brother. I don't know. Something about how he was like, he was going into the sea... It's playing Marco Polo, mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. you see where I'm going here. It's not good. Mm -hmm. The bit itself is, it's, it is like Marco Polo, if you think about it. Joe Man. Rogan, mind explosion. I hope this thing doesn't run out of fucking batteries while we're doing this. <laughs> yeah. I, ran, I, I don't know. I misplaced. I use, here's this, I don't want to go too far, because we we got the tech stuff coming up later, but. <laughs> the tech, tech, review. tech review corner. <laughs> I, I use Panasonic Eneloop Pro rechargeable batteries, and I misplaced the batteries. Mm. So I'm down to one set. I don't know what happened to all my batteries. You think I took them or something? I mean... Why'd you look I'd, at me that why'd way? Why'd you look at Adam like that? Because I... I mean, if, we're, if, if someone is... Sticky fingers. We got somebody that's, that likes taking things that don't belong to him. I like... To, like what? Uh, what have like I ever the, the West Bank, for example? <laughs> I didn't take that. that Culturally, was... that's your your people's fault. Uh, but yeah, so we're down to one bar in the battery. If the battery dies, you know, we'll do the rest of the show whenever I can go pick up more batteries. Has a b one bar ever lasted us an hour? Uh, sometimes. I mean, the the fucking it's not very accurate. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. So I don't know. Uh, what we forget, we neglected to speak about on the last one. Rich Piana, rest in peace. Dead at the at the natural death age of forty six years old, <laughs> when most people die, cause of death haircut, getting his haircut by his girlfriend. You always want to go to a salon. Mm -hmm. You know, if you mm -hmm. let some dumb bitch cut your hair wrong, boom, your brain explodes from a. 
uh, an opioid and and steroid cocktail. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Jake, do you know who Rich Piano is? No, I thought his name was Piano when I read the the thing. He's a he's a weightlifter, right? Uh, yeah. yeah, he's a bodybuilder. I don't know anything other than I googled him when I when I looked at the um the show map we're using. Uh, yeah, he's like a big. Swole, weird tattoo. Oh, guy. you didn't even know about that until I handed you this piece of paper. No, nah, but I, I, I put it together because I, I, I heard somebody talk about him a couple days ago. Mm-hmm. So I kind of got a vague cursory understanding. He's like an internet moron. Yeah, you could call him that. Okay. I guess. Uh, Is he cool? Do we like him? I can't tell. An Italian gen. No, he's funny to laugh at. Okay, that's what I thought. And then now people are trying to be like, come on, he's dead. (laughs) 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 It just makes it funny. (laughs) This is a guy you've been saying for years is like, this guy's going to (laughs) die. Yeah, right? Like, why Why is it when, like, Sonic Jew dies? We're like, for real, though, he did some good things. Yeah, right. Like, when Blake Midget (laughs) dies, I'm not going to be like... Oh, what a tragedy. <laughs> it's going to be like, yeah, Blake did it, guys. Blake did the thing he was desperately trying to do for years. And he died in a in a, in a a sleeve-cutting uh, off accident. <laughs> he, he, cut the, he tried to cut his sleeve. <laughs> Sliced his aorta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sliced into his own heart. Damn. Ah, shit. Uh, Can somebody drive me to the hospital? <laughs> I cut my. I tried. I, cut, I tried to cut my sleeves off. While I was bartending, and I cut off my fucking arm. Yeah. I was using a broken. I smashed a beer bottle over my head, and I was using a broken glass to cut my own arms off. <laughs> and then I, I got to get back in shape. Did you, you told me one time the way to do a, a Blake Midget impression is just gay Duke Nukem. Yeah, I think yeah. about it all the time. Right. <laughs> so it's just a octave higher. I'm going to rip off your balls and suck off your dick. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. I'll be I'm here to suck Blake dick guys. and chew bubble gum. And I'm all out of gum. <laughs> yeah. So what's up with this rich piano? So, yeah, he died uh, while he was getting a haircut from his girlfriend, as Nick just said. <laughs> How did he really die? Um, from from like years of doing... He's been doing steroids since he was 16. So yeah. 30 years of steroid use. His mom was a bodybuilder. <laughs> so he's like some, you know, I guess Italian kid that just is in love with his mom, wants sure. to have sex with his mom. <laughs> <laughs> typical Italian tradition. Uh-huh. And then became a bodybuilder. Uh immediately i guess age eight is when he got started and then i don't the thing i don't understand is about using steroids when you're 16 is like are you already like i just remember being 16 and all i could do was jack off (laughs) you have so many hormones in you you have to come them onto your mom's carpet in her apartment (laughs) immediately all the time every day after school yeah you can't help but get rid of all the extra testosterone why are you doing steroids just eat your own cum (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Just to have your cum, fill the syringe with it, and inject your own cum into your muscles. Yeah. You know who eats their own cum? Who? Chris Chan. Who? Sonichu. Oh. You you referenced him earlier. I don't know his real name. Oh, okay. You're just trying to be cool. I, why him. would I know his real name? Like, I mean, come on. I mean, if his you know... His name is Sonichu. No, his name is Chris Chan. <laughs> Sonichu is the thing he created, quote unquote created. It's weirder, though, to be like, my friend Chris. You might know him as Sonichu, but we're, you know, in real life, we're pals. No, if I you hang said out Chris, with him. If we you eat said our Christian, cum together. Chris, we both like eating cum. Yeah. I'm Nick Mullen, and I like eating cum. That's not what I said. That's what exactly. Mm-hmm. Why, you, if I said Christian Weston Chandler, it wouldn't be weird to mention. You should know that before you know Sonichu. Sonichu is the thing that he did. <laughs> okay. You know? So he eats his own cum? It'd be like if you called Walt Disney Mickey Mouse. <laughs> well, maybe I do. Yeah. How about that, huh? You know, Mickey Mouse really hated the <laughs> about how much he hated it. It's like, no, you mean Walt Disney. And you're like, who's Walt Disney? <laughs> He's like, Walt Disney is the man that drew Mickey Mouse. And you're like... No, that, I'm pretty sure it was Mickey Mouse. No, it was Mickey Mouse, though. Yeah? Yeah, I, you're wrong. I'm right. Yeah. Suck my dick. I do like that Mickey... My all cum. those, all those like cartoon characters just started off as like, yeah, it's blackface for children. <laughs> yeah. No, for real. That's why Mickey Mouse has those big gloves. Oh, of course. It's like straight up just black. Yeah, if you go shit. look at any old cartoon, it's like, is that it's a, a bear? <laughs> it's, like, <laughs> yeah. it's like a monkey bear that's working in a field and crying. Yeah. You're like, oh, never mind. <laughs> yeah. I know what that is. Like those old, like, black and white cartoons of the cows that just dance all robotically and shit. Yeah, just right. Just making fun of black people, like, right. sharecroppers uh, and shit. And cow skeleton. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, so Rich Piana died. Mickey That's Mouse in the died. news. Another thing, Amazon lowering Whole Foods prices. What's the play here? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, business. We talked about this last. Time. What's the play? <laughs> what are they thinking? What's where's smart money moving on this? I'm I'm Cosmo Kramer, and this is Money Madness. <laughs> You're watching Money House on CNN. They're with, trying to with John Kramer with Kramer versus Kramer, <laughs> where I make one bet and then a clone of myself makes another. Kramer versus Kramer is just like two guys yelling the N word at each other. Yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> Kramer versus you know. That would be the funnier. <laughs> That'd be the way to title that video. Amazon is just trying to corner the market on like selling food, right? Yeah, isn't that what's going on? Like, you yeah, lower prices so that everyone continues to shop at you. That way, mm-hmm. you can you can fucking. But what's the play? <laughs> what's the play? Here? The play. <laughs> okay. What's smart money doing on this play? Are they gonna? Are you think other tech? Like, you think Uber is gonna buy like C Town? I think I think what Uber you should think, do uh, Uber should raise Lyft's prices to make themselves look better. <laughs> that's a good that's a smart play. I, yeah, why hasn't anyone ever done that? I think that's I, the play. That's the play in, in that situation. But what's the play with Amazon? What's the know? play? Uh local news story, we got a dog that bought a cheeseburger for its own. <laughs> that's adorable, isn't it? An eighty year old woman, she's got a dog Bobo. It went down, folks. She was hungry. It went down to the local Popeyes, bought her a cheeseburger. <laughs> they sold it. Heartwarming, sure. Uh, another story: We got a third grader who's opening up a different kind of lemonade stand. <laughs> his secret? It's his own piss. Did you just make up the news for this? <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, they could be real. Who knows? Rich Piana's is real. The Rich Piana's is real. Yeah, I'm just trying to do as close of an approximation to local news as I can. Sure. So the mm-hmm. child is selling piss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a grandma. That she's making. She's knitting lunch boxes for homeless people. Isn't that sweet? Coming up at 11, a local toddler is missing, presumed and murdered. <laughs> You're watching W9USA Cleveland. That's the annual hot air balloon festival. We've got an eclectic bunch down here. Meet the third grade teacher that's uh, created her own hot air balloon with her class. And then after that, a local mother was dragged behind an Arby's and fucked to death by a gang of... Of Puerto Ricans. <laughs> and this is the local news. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, and then coming up later, are solo cups killing your entire family? <laughs> Have you touched a solo cup in the last six months? Well, get ready for dick cancer because it's going to happen. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's it. I don't know if there's other news going on. I guess North Korea fired another missile. Yeah. Oh, man. What's wrong with yeah. those folks up there in North Korea? We they just threw, got it's a J straight over Japan. Japan, yeah. Yeah. And they were getting their uh, Gundams Here's ready. my hot take. <laughs> why, do we, why is that our problem? Why do we have to deal with that? That seems like balls in Japan's court on this one. Because we, now, I know oh, we yeah. took away their military, but <laughs> they are pretty good at... Uh, uh, they, sexually assaulting people. They can fight And they have a history anime. of doing that in Korea. So why don't the Japanese go over there and turn them all into sex slaves again like they did in the olden days? Yeah. You know? Yeah, for sure, man. I agree. They, uh, they can go over there and attack them with anime and use panties and shit. You know, throw all their Japanese shit at them. Yeah. My favorite is that Japanese device that's just, it turns you into a vending machine. <laughs> so if you're, a man's chasing you around the streets, you can go around the corner and just, you like, deploy a vending machine <laughs> disguise over your body. He's like, wow, where's that girl I was going to... Yeah, but then he uses the Right, he's machine. like, yeah, wow, well, I'm thirsty from trying to chase that girl. <laughs> Time for an ice-cold Sprite <laughs> to quench my thirst, just like Kobe Bryant... Another fel- fellow would drink. Alleged. Uh, well, <laughs> alleged, alleged. Alleged. Right. I think yeah, said what's the story? I think said a legend. A legendary. I like that rapist. better. A legend rapist. A le- yeah. A legendary. But like the journalist that just doesn't know words. Yeah. Legendary. Allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hi. My name is <clears throat> Johnny Local, and I'm the local news journalist that doesn't know how to read. And I say things wrong. Uh,. Yeah, and then they go to use the vending machine, and, uh, you know, yeah, well, oh, these buttons don't work. Oh, the girl's in here. Yeah. What a, fun, what a funny ending to that and story. The crazy jazz. And then the sexual assault Rape happens. the vending machine itself because they're 
fetish. Is there a higher vending machines? Is that statistically accurate? There's a higher degree of in Japan. Uh, no, Sweden. And the only reason Sweden for that, has the highest. Dig- Sweden has this thing where, like, their definition of is like looking at a woman. Right. So, exactly. like, uh, if you don't hold the a door for a woman, it's and then if you hold the door too long, oh, you better rape. believe that's a raven. <laughs> yeah. That's right. That's that's a raven. Yeah. That's a paddling. You cut. You better believe you cut. Jasper, classic Simpsons. Bit. <laughs> God damn! What a great show. Hey, you know, I mean, if you, I, I listen to this fucking podcast. I don't subscribe, but I listen to this. I listen to you tell my stories. All no, the hold on. on what do you mean you, you listen you to it, but don't you don't subscribe? subscribe. I don't. Which pay means, for... which means, you do more work. <laughs> you manually go and download the no, episode every week. I listen to the free feed. I don't listen to the. Oh, pay so you feed. subscribe on iTunes? Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, oh, I don't well, every thank week. You, I, oh, what is Nick doing? But I've heard you tell my own fucking stories on this. So then that means I should be able to steal from the Simpsons. What stories of yours have I told? The meat truck story. Yeah, but I preface that as. Like yeah, this thing happened with Jake one time. It's yeah. not like I said. You preface it with "I am stealing a story from Jake right now." I think that counts as stealing. No, it doesn't. Yeah, at least I, at least I give credit, Adam. It's all right. What do you mean? Instead of I've... Adam pretending like he doesn't remember where he heard things. You remember a tidbit about every town so you can fuck Chinese girls. Mm. Oh, you're from Jiangsu province? Isn't that where they make the province? Isn't that where they make the province? 